Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to show you a new uh, jig we're using to help locate the bridge for gluing on. Um, as you can see, I've already got it, you know, on here, just laid there with some tape around it. So I'm partway through the process. Uh, before, what we would do to set the the bridge in the right spot is we would use these this straight edge and this ruler to get the general scale length marked and laid out, and then that uh, more accurate ruler to really carefully um, measure it, make sure it was it was perfect. Um, but as we know, the purpose of a jig is to make something um, so that you don't have to measure every day. If you measure every day, you have the possibility of making an error. So Ben has worked up this little tool, very simple. I don't know why we didn't do it earlier. It's called the Bridgenator. Um, ben likes to name the jigs. And down here, it has a uh, slot that fits where the saddle will go. It's a tight fit, one moment, there. And uh, then it sits on the fretboard, and you can see, if you look carefully, that there's cutouts for the um, slots, for the uh, frets. So all I have to do is make sure it lines up all the way down the instrument, and if the angle's good, and then hopefully that means that the, the bridge is at the right spot and the right angle. So uh, what I've been doing the last two weeks is I've been setting it like this, then double checking with the rulers and then gluing it on. But it's been perfect every day for two weeks. So um, I've, it has passed the test in my opinion. So now I'll continue taping around this and then I'll glue the bridge on and I'll trust that the bridgeinator has put it in the right spot. 